necklace sooner. That's what's most important here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am Professor Trisha Stogsdill. I am the Associate Professor of Theater here at Neosho County Community College. And I also directed this piece. Uh, I'm a co-director with uh, an amazing student, Dee Estes. Can you tell us your name, where you're from, and your different roles Let's in the see, show? That's three whole questions in a row. Just <laughs> do your My best. My name is John Leahy. Um, I see, I immediately forgot the second question. <laughs> I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And what are your different roles in this production? Uh, I am the technical director, and I am the lights and scenic designer. Great. I love being in the space. I love seeing uh, actors on stage interacting with things uh, and bringing to life a world. Uh, that it's its own. Uh, what don't I love about theater? Um, I love working with other people. I love connecting with other people. I love creating art together in a room and it's almost like we create this magical little family that comes together and we make something together that we never could have made on our own. And it's special and it's inclusive and it's meaningful and it says something and who else gets to go to work every day and say that they get to like connect with other people and make art that matters? The production process uh, had many steps. So first, Dee came to me with an idea, an amazing idea. And that was a play about issues of our time. And then they came to me with a theme and that theme was greed. And then we started a writing workshopping process where we wrote in a stream of consciousness form and we had a timer set and we wrote for that certain amount of time and then we saw what happened and then we began the editing process. So we didn't even have a script until several weeks into the process. And then we began devising and there are many ways to approach devising um, using different types of shapes and movements and patterns in order to create our pieces. And then once we had those loose patterns, we began editing, refining, making sure that the movements meant something. The production process overall starts really early on for me. This uh, play was a little bit different, obviously, because we didn't have a script. It was just a feeling. And uh, my entire process was trying to bring the feeling to life. He came to me and they said, I want nature. I want it to be earthy and grounded. And I had at first envisioned black and white. I kind of like black and white for how stark it can be. But then once I heard that, then I was like, oh, I want flowy lines. And I found this image of a babbling brook in a forest. And I pulled my color palette from that. And then I found this amazing company called Marcella NYC. And they don't really do costumes, right? They make clothes made ethically. Uh, their uh, stitchers make a living wage. Um, and then they also contribute to um, helping to fund schools for girls uh, in Africa. So I think that all of those things and, and being a sustainable company that cares about our environment, I think that in making a piece like this, we had to practice what we preach, right? We had to approach our design with an idea about the planet and ethics and making sure that we're not supporting things where people aren't being treated properly. So hand gestures were something I started playing with because I knew I wanted to use that in the set. So there were three types of hand gestures that I played with. Um, sort of the transactional like hand action, like if you're asking for money, um, asking for help and then uh, sort of offering assistance. We also wanted to play with the idea of this mechanical industrial being reclaimed by nature. Um, so we found a really beautiful image of just sort of a cubist type hand and I wanted to bring that back into the world of being natural. Um, so I looked at things that humanity had created um, that have been reclaimed by nature. So I wanted there to be sort of a monolithic feeling to the set. At a certain point, uh, there are deciding moments when we pick who we want to be, and that plays out for the rest of your life. And I think 
that's exactly what the debate is about.